Hi everybody, so today we're going to talk about the respiratory mucosa. And what mucosa is, is basically a membrane. So we're going to talk about a membrane that lines the respiratory system. So to give you an idea of what we're talking about, I'm just going to take this part right here, and let's say this is our trachea. And I'm just going to cut off this little section right here, and we'll be talking more about this in a little bit. I'll actually draw a picture of it, okay? So it could be any part on the trachea, but I just want you to understand what we're looking at here. So on the respiratory mucosa, the first thing about it is, it is made up of columnar epithelium. So columnar epithelium is basically epithelial cells that are tall and thin. They're shaped like a column, right? The second thing is between the columnar epithelium, we have goblet cells, okay? So it contains goblet cells. And goblet cells secrete mucus. Okay, so my goblet cells secrete mucus. Now, if you don't know what mucus is, this is your snot in this case. This is gonna be like, it's, it's a thicky fluid like snot. If it was in the nose, we'd actually call it snot. So our goblet cells secrete mucus. Now the reason that it secretes mucus is because the mucus is sticky and it is going to capture things, it's sticky, and captures things such as dirt, dust, uh, and especially microbes, okay? And microbes are basically germs, okay? So now, on my epithelial cells, I also have a hair-like extension called cilia. So, epithelial cells, and I'm going to draw this, contain hair-like extensions called cilia. So what's going to happen is when you have dirt and dust and microbes and things like that, they're going to get stuck on the mucus. Then the cilia is going to beat and it's going to drive that stuff up towards your throat, okay? So the cilia beats and moves the junk, okay? I'm just going to put junk instead of writing all this, the dirt, the dust, the microbes, just junk. And moves junk toward the throat. Now what's going to happen in the throat or to use the anatomical name, we're going to call it the pharynx. And then what's going to happen is you will swallow this. And you'll swallow it, and then your stomach acid is going to break it down. So, once in the throat, or in the pharynx, it is swallowed. Oops, swallowed and stomach acid breaks it down. Okay, especially when it comes to microbes, it's going to break that down, okay? Some of the dirt and stuff might just pass through the stomach and then you'll basically get rid of it um, when you go to the bathroom, things such as that, okay? So now that's, that's one way it does it, and I'm just going to write this right over here, because if it's in the nose, the goblet cells, like I said, they create basically snot. So goblet cells will secrete, this is, I'm going to say this is if it's in the nose, will secrete the mucus and create a runny nose. Okay? And when it does that, you get rid of this stuff too. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. And I'm gonna erase this now. And once again, we're gonna just be looking as if we're on the inside of something like the trachea and take a look at this, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to draw my basement membrane. So this would just be the the part that's going to attach these cells to uh, 
the rest of the trachea, okay? Then I am going to have my epithelial cells. We said they're columnar epithelium, so they're gonna be kind of tall. It looks something like this, okay? And then what's gonna happen is I am going to put in here my goblet cell. So there's a goblet cell. And then we have more of my columnar epithelium. Okay, and I know I make it look like it's every three or four, and it could be. There's no, it's no actual pattern to this. It's kind of just random. Okay, and there's another goblet cell. And here's my other columnar epithelium cell. And I'm just gonna leave with two goblet cells. So when I say this, this is an epithelial cell. Okay, columnar epithelium. Okay, and then this is my goblet cell. Okay, and remember, we said these secrete mucus. And we said mucus is like a sticky fluid, okay? So there's my goblet cell. Now, I also said on here we have something called um, cilia, which is a hair-like extension. Let me see. Let me use red for cilia. Now, you have a lot more. These are a lot closer than I'm going to make them look. I'm just doing this because I'm going to be drawn between these. Okay, so if I were to go like this, and then like, oop, one, one thing real quick. So this is my cilia. So, and remember we said these are hair-like extensions. So now I have ciliated columnar epithelium. Okay, that's gonna be making up this respiratory mucosa. Now I'm gonna put in my mucus, which will be orange here. And so I'm gonna go like this, and here's my, all my mucus that's on here. Okay. I'm making it look like it sticks way out over here. It's just a thin layer that would actually be on top of it. Because it's secreted by goblet cells, that's why I drew it inside the goblet cells. Okay, and then if I just go like this, I get my mucus on here. All right, and then I go like this. Some mucus in there, and some mucus in there. Here are mucus, there are mucus, everywhere are mucus. Okay, and then we go like this. All right, now, this, like we said, is going to be my mucus, okay? So my goblet cells have created the mucus, and now I have a mucus lining on there. Now I'm gonna stick some microbes in there. Um, I'm gonna call this some dirt. Let's make this one a piece of dust. Let's make this one a bacteria, all right? So I'm gonna put dirt dust, bacteria, and anything else that you breathe in, okay? Let me put some more in there and some more in there, another bacteria, another, okay? So now it's gotten caught in the mucus. This cilia here is going to be and move this up towards the throat. In fact, let me put that on there. My pharynx, it's this way to the pharynx, okay? So these cilia here are going to move and they are going to move all this stuff up to the throat and then you swallow it. And that's basically the respiratory mucosa. So thank you so much for watching.